What's up y'all, it's your boy Mochi Go back once again with another video and today we are going to discuss Conway the Machine's new single called The Chosen uh, featuring Jay Ski's over Justice League production and man, let's get right into it I really like this one uh, Let's start with the beat That beat from Justice League is right up in his alley uh, when he's at his best, I believe those cinematic uh, those very official, those bossy type beats that that took me back to like the Rick Ross era when he was at the pinnacle of his game, you know, uh, um, around that God forgives I don't. Uh, prior to Mastermind, he used to you often go over those type beats, and uh, I always loved them. And Conway, Conway worked pretty well on that. Uh, he came on here uh, right off the bat, very aggressive with the flow, very fast. Uh, he didn't have bars like that in the very first half, but it's just the flow. The flow, the cadence, and the rhyme schemes were very, very good. And once the beat drop, uh, you hear Jay Skis right off the bat, and they have very good, very good chemistry. So they were bouncing uh, short verses, short short rhymes of each other. And man, the dynamic was crazy. And uh, listening to the track, I think it was inspired by, obviously, uh, LeBron James, but more precisely by... Um, a Skip and Shannon a debate that they would have on the Undisputed. And uh, my guess is that this occurred right after the Lakers traded the new, um, uh, traded for the new look Lakers, you know, the the D-Lo, the Vanderbilt and everything. And when they won that game again against the, the Mavs. So this is why you will hear that sound about about Shannon be like, yo, you, you, I really like it. I really like this. They look really good, Skip, you know. Uh, this took me back to one of those clips that I've seen flowing on Instagram about a, a producer, I can't remember his name, that was talking about working with Conway and his, uh, his uh, working process in the studio. And he said that he was amazed because Conway often, you know, you would have like a conversation or something would be on on TV. And then Conway would just go in the studio for like five minutes, freestyle some shit, and then be like, I'm done. And you listen to the verse, and Conway would refer to what he just heard or saw. And this is pretty much what happened in here. Like, he was clearly in the studio, either by himself or with Jay Skis, watching the Undisputed segment, and then it was like, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna flip that into a song, and that worked, man. And uh, yeah, that lines toward the ends that are really light. Um, he had this whole, you know, uh, metaphor about LeBron James saying that uh, it's like LeBron James, the way he dominated the East Coast. So obviously, for for my for my basketball fans out there, LeBron James has been to the finals, uh, ten I believe ten or eleven straight times in the East. So man. Uh yeah yeah that was ten times in the east so yeah, that that's how dominant he was and uh, he said that when it's all said and done he would reach a tire leading at least uh, two of um the the greatest uh, statistical category so and this is like LeBron obviously is the scoring leader right now and he may. Uh, he's not catching John Stockton in assists, so I don't know, but he's uh, he's going to be top five in assists if he's not all, already top five. So I really like the line. I really like what Jay Skis did also. Uh, check out his album that came out earlier this year. It's some dope shit on there if you haven't. And yeah, what's to expect about the album? He announced it. Like uh, it's gonna be called uh, "Won't He Do It." He's uh, he's dropping next month, I believe, early next month. So I'm very hyped for that because he's giving us four singles uh, at this point, and uh, it's it's getting increasingly better. He started with um, Super Bowl. I kind of wasn't hoping that he would make the album. I didn't dislike it, but I really wasn't too crazy about it. Then he gave us quarters, which was pretty good. Then Crucifix, which was really good, uh, with voice I going over the Derringer production took me back to like those earlier grimier um, Griselda type days and now obviously we have this so I'm very hyped for this uh, he's been teasing a Nas feature he's been teasing a stove Benny and 38 special track I can't wait to hear all this and see what he got for us but from what I've gathered from this album, uh, it's not going to be like um, God Don't Make Mistakes when it's like a very personal album. I think it's just on there rapping. And uh, I'm cool with that also. And he's just, you know, showing up, showing off um, how he's uh, versatile, like how how many flows he has, how many beats he can go over. Because from Super Bowl to this or to Bruce Fick, those do not sound anything alike. But it... 
Uh, I can't I can't wait to see what Conway has for us in stores, man. So, anyways, we're gonna cut the video right here. Uh, appreciate you guys for checking me out. Get in the comment section. Tell me if you like the track or not. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.